Hello and welcome everyone to part 3 of the Maratha Confederacy Let's Play of Empire Total War with Darth Mod. We continue where we left things off last time. Just hit the end turn button and we've been attacked by the Mughal Empire at uh, Ahmad Nagar. And uh, we are defending. Uh, my troops have not been able to fully replenish. So we're fighting at a bit of a disadvantage here. But I'm hoping that with 3000 versus 4300 we can take them on considering that, well, uh, 1800 of them are archers. And uh, 600 of them are uh, levy, which we should be able to break relatively easily. So let's uh, jump on in and fight this one. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you want to see an hour special at part 5, an early hour special at part 5. If not, it'll be at part 10. Um, parts 2, 3, and 4 of this Let's Play need 1,000 likes each. Uh, part 2 already has smashed through its 1,000 like target, and part 1, which had a like target of 3,000, has been utterly smashed. So thank you very much for showing your support. Really means a lot. Uh, thanks for all the comments as well. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below for a serious suggestion on what you would like a unit named in this campaign. I'll be naming them... Uh, before I start recording part 5, whether that is an hour special or not. So make sure you tune in then if you want a unit named after something in particular. But uh, serious names only, please. Uh, only had only had a few penis ones, to be fair, last time, so I'm quite proud of you guys. Um, <laughs> but, um, yes. So, we are lined up here. I assume they're coming from in front. We will fight to defend. And we're 7,000 in this battle. Hopefully it's not going to start chugging. Shouldn't do, but... You never know. You never know with this game. Uh, they don't have any cannons, do they? <laughs> Let's put a couple of units in here, then. Look at them. Look at them. Love it. Love it. This is what we need back in the game. I mean, the system could be done a lot better. But garrisonable buildings, please make a return. Oh, what? Why can't I put them in? Oh, you can only put one single unit in. So actually, it would be better putting one of my larger units in here. Although most of them actually don't get a spot; it only pops a few of them on balconies. Okay, we'll pop the original one that we had in there. Oh no, that wasn't the original one. We'll put this one in. It's the weakest unit. There you go. You guys form up there. Meanwhile. Oh, yeah, you guys go there. You can have little trenches. It's fine. Pop these two guys down on this flank. I need a unit in here. Actually, we'll use these guys because there's not many of you. And it looks like the... Oh, yeah, the train's not going to be kind of... They won't be able to get up there, but we'll still keep some units here just in case. We try and push around this flank. So that means that these guys and these guys are still unused. Well, let's pop you guys here just in case. Turn you off fire at will for now. And let's have you guys, let's like create a barricade here as well. So you can like fall back to here but again. Turn you off fire at will. Elephants. Let's pop you here for now. We are defending so not really Looking to push out too much. Oh, why didn't I include you guys in that? Soz. Two Hindu warriors. You're hopefully going to get a lot of fun. Charging out. Toward the enemy. A good charge, men. Good charge. Cavalry. Uh, we will have you guys charging out from over here. Let's begin. What have they got on the flank? Bowman. Oh, perfect for my cav to go careering into. They've got them supported by pikes, so I have to be careful about that a little bit. I have a few of them. Are. Yeah, so we'll stand in the trench and on top of the trench. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit laggy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's feeling a bit choggy. I'm feeling choggy tonight. Yeah. See how it goes. So we got over here. We have dervishes. Oh, they're normally pretty good. Yeah, pretty, pretty good melee troops. The pikes. We're gonna have to flank them or just whittle them down with fire. They are charging in though, which is good. 
Let's pull the cavalry in here so we can get some shots. My men are starting to fire into the bowmen. See, they're pushing up so that they can get close enough to me. I've got my Hindu warriors ready to charge when we get the opportunity. And if these guys stay exposed up here, then I will go for a, an infantry charge. Dembo's over here, though. Gotta be careful about charging in too early, though. That's the only thing. Come on, fire the volleys! Oh, they're, go they're going for it. Charge the bowmen, then. Charge the bowmen. There's my cavalry over here. We'll charge them in the behind. Get these guys to stop firing. Hindu warrior charge. Over barricades. Swish and zing. Oh dear, we're getting engine stutter already. That's not good. Still, we will persevere the fight. Those are the pikes coming in. Okay, we'll pull this unit out here to keep those pikes away, interested in us, rather than in my other unit of Cav. Here we go, Cav, come on. Knock them down, do them some damage. Okay, just, just go around this side. Avoid the, the flank, avoid the flank. God, those, those, these pikes run bloody fast. I was going to try and get around them, but I can't. Well, hang on, why is my cavalry wavering? Concerned, attacked in the flank. Oh, it's fine, they're dead now. Right, go hit those units. Oh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Did not see any of this over here. Uh-oh. It's fine, we should have them. We're charging the pikes. Oh, dear. Not a great idea, is it? Better go charge these guys in the behind. Charge that levy. Watch out for the other pikes over here. My other cavalry unit. Where are you? You're back over here. That's fine. There you go. You guys start firing again. Cavalry's launched itself into the bowman, but I don't think it's doing too much damage at the moment. These guys are going to get caught up by those pikes rather nastily. All them units go. Oh, that lag is real. I'm dead like 14 FPS. Ugh. And this is this is definitely why I didn't go for 40 unit saves, because this isn't even like two full stack armies. If you have that, I might have to turn like all my graphic settings down to get something kind of playable. Cause it won't be a pleasant experience for many of you. Charge those musketeers. Oh, I thought the pikes would have gone after my cavalry by now, but no, my cavs finally broken. Didn't do that much damage actually because I don't have enough of them. Come on. Come on, warriors. There we go. Here we go to so the Hindu musketeers. Should be able to take these guys down, I hope. Sort of rather vital that we do. They're coming in with pikes here now. Ah, oh, come on, musket! Ah, you're broken. You're not shattered though, so you better come back. Come back, come back. Try and flank these guys here, unless they keep charging. Oh no, they've shattered me now. They've absolutely wrecked me. They have wrecked me. No, don't you dare. Probably should keep my general closer. Lancers charging in. We might be able to break them here. We pit them in the flank. I know that Bramatborn settings, flanking and everything is uh, a lot more um, effective than the old morale. But my, my cab's getting wrecked. Ah, uh, can he pull them out? Fortunately, those guys are shattered and will not be coming back. 
today. Get my general with his elephants over here. Ah, cool. We've shattered the pikes, though. That's good. Alright, let's get this unit out here. Because you're not doing anything over this side. Get the infantry over here as well. Try and flank in with my elephants. Pull them really close to them. We might as well. Oh, my cavalry's still just about alive. Right, get inside. Get the elephant's behind. These guys should be able to fire into the flanks, though. Of all the pikes. Alright, you guys can fire at any moment. That'd be lovely. Come on, fire. Fire! Please fire. There we go. That's what we like to see. Come on, elephants. Hurry up. Get those pikes in the bum. Holy, holy. If only you guys would fire faster. And be more accurate. You're doing okay. Charge, elephants, charge! While the elephants be a charge in, I'm going to move these guys right behind them. And they come in, they come in, they come in, they come. I'm hoping this is going to rout them. Oh, boom. That. A wavering, they're shaking. Come on. Otherwise, those pikes are going to wreck my elephants. I'd have thought. Oh, wow, they just chuck them around. Nice. Uh oh. Uh oh, there's loads of units about to go. Okay, elephants pull through. Oh, cool, we've broken them there. Nice. Yes, we've broken these guys as well. Broken all of them there. Good. Elephants did their job. They held. Fire at will. Shoot these sods. C come on. Yes. Elephants, if you wouldn't mind coming over here, that'd be lovely. These bloody bows, though. Get you guys closer to them as well. You guys in here. I know you guys are hiding behind your barricades, but still. Right now we need to get you up close and personal with the with the enemy, sir. Get behind them. Get behind them. Pull my general up to the flanks. We can do this, we can do this, we can take him down. Come on. Get up close, fire at will them. Wreck them, break them. And get over to their general and shoot him, then I will do. Ba -ba -ba, Hindu warriors! Ka charge! You guys go after the elephants. Come on, we've got how many units firing at these guys now? Must be able to bring them down. Right, Hindu warriors going in the flanks. Nice. Yeah, these guys have got to go take down those elephants. Go, 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 go. Ooh, don't you break my my poor Hindu warriors. Give my elephants up. Oh, if we can take out their general, then we'll... Oh no, they're just going to fight. 
We're gonna fire at these guys instead. Fire at the elephants if you wouldn't mind. I would have just charged these bows. I'm hoping if we did. I'm gonna charge in on them and hope that breaks them. General charging in with a sword. Hoping that charge bonus and we slaughter these guys. Yeah, should do. Bring down those elephants, there we go. Charge on in. You guys charge them as well. Charge those Hindu musketeers. Elephants be coming on in. Spears. Hoping that holds the Hindu warrior's morale long enough for my Bargear infantry to charge. Come on. Take them down. Meanwhile, we're taking out that general noise. Whoa, these guys haven't died yet. I thought we'd actually kill them in the single single charge. My Hindu warriors are broken. It's pretty close right now. But those Hindu musketeers go to sword rather than keep their musket, which is quite annoying. Because I would prefer swords, please. Thankfully, we are taking down those elephants of the general quite nicely. So once we kill their general, we should have them. God, these guys have got so much veterancy here. Just holding off. Again, I guess they've got axes. Probably should have stayed and sh outshot them a little bit more, but didn't know how how many more casualties that would uh, cause me, if I'm perfectly honest. going down. Let's move these guys up. Way broken the bows. Move these guys up here. Point blank range, we should be able to take these guys down. Pretty quickly. They are wavering now. Come on, a volley. Give me a volley. Another shot. These guys are broken. Let's finish them off. I want to do as much damage to them as possible. Turn around, charge these guys. Let the elephants go. Because we don't want these guys coming back. No, continue. Fast forward. General, leave them alone. These guys. Just try and fire onto them. See if we get some extra kills this way. Not going to catch them really, so. Try and have to shoot some more of them down. That'll do. Got them down a fair bit. Nice! Close victory. Yes, indeed it was. I'm going to need to reinforce this region as soon as possible, but I know they're gathering more forces to the east. I need to try and take their, more of their regions as well. That's what many of you have suggested uh, as the War Council in my comments so far. Keep them coming. And great to see so much interaction in the comment section. Uh, I know a lot of you just throwing down names and what have you of units, but um, still uh, great to see. 704. The Hindu warriors are well done. Nice. Well, we did lose quite a lot of men though. The same number of men remaining that they do. Oh, and also thanks for clarifying the whole uh, reinforcing thing. Ah, retreat. Oh, okay. Um, the fact that I every time you stop a unit re uh, replenishing, not reinforcing, replenishment system, that resets the whole replenishment of the unit. You know, apparently it takes two turns to fully replenish units in Empire. And I was only waiting like a turn, and then like turning it on, turning it off again. And that was obviously resetting it every time. Uh, so, lesson learnt there. Pirates are. And I know I need to build up my, my navy as well, but I'm probably struggling on funds right now, and I've got to focus on the, the land war. We've got plug bayonets now. I'm going to go straight for ring bayonets so that I don't sacrifice the ability to fire anymore. 
Okay, Westphalia's gone. Pop these guys back in here so they can't wreck that. Replenish everything. Oh, we've got some... Are we spawn militia? Did I recruit militia? Maybe. Must have done. Oh yes, I think I did, didn't I? Uh, they've left that settl this settlement completely open, so I can go straight on in. Sweet. Oh, and I could go and hit this settlement as well. Which is worth a lot more than this one was. Uh, I wish I could see the garrison force, but I assume it's all peasants. There's still a lot of them. Mm, it's tough to call whether I go straight on in and then leave this open. And I have to fight it off with my mobs, but they could pull other units in in that time. And then I've lost settlements. God, that's going to take all my money for this turn. Okay, I really can't. The barracks is the... Mm. Okay, we'll get that repaired so that we can get some more troops out here. But I'm going to need more troops everywhere else, basically. We'll get more bar gear line infantry. That's all I can get, is it? Oh, an armed peasantry. I'll have to leave that then. Uh, these three units we could push up somewhere, or we can hold, because most of our units are there. They've got some replenishment as well since last turn. I pulled up my army from Arcot. I'm going to take these guys and pop them down here to move that fleet out. Uh, the reason why is I thought I might be able to go for uh, Hyderabad, but they pulled a lot more forces in here. Um, I don't know if they'll come down for my men here. I mean, I could try and flank round with this army. That's not earning them a lot of money, so what I'm hoping is that it really kicks them in the teeth. Money-wise. Mm. How much do these guys cost? What's their upkeep cost? 200. Yeah, so if I can take out a lot of that, especially if I can isolate all their trade as well. Then I don't think they've got anything, any coastal trade now, surely. We've got ships, yeah, but I think I've taken out all their ability to produce some, so these are just their basic fleets, but I'm not in a position to create my own fleets right now, annoyingly. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I need to repair all these bits. They keep raiding, but... Yeah, I don't know what to do with these guys. I've brought them up. I could send them back. I also don't want to go into France's land. I don't want to go up against these guys here. I could pull them towards um, Satara. Try and reinforce there, and in the meanwhile, pump more of these guys. These guys I've just got here up to hold. Uh, I could pop a unit down here actually to hold the port. Um, these guys again. I'm not. I think I need to. I need to keep pushing for regions really. But I don't want to like lose this one here. I sent anything from here up there. No. Could do, but it will take them a turn to get there. Can actually get reasonable units. Uh, I'm going to risk seeing what the attack on here will be like. Surrender refuse. I've got two mortars. Garrison line infantry. Firelock arm populace. We could probably win this. We could probably win this. Um, go on then, let's jump on in see if we can take it. We can just strike their territories down a little bit, hit their economy hard, and hope that they don't go for those other settlements, or that I can somehow reinforce it or something. Let's see how it goes. Right. Right, right, right. Let's go for the 
patented line, well not the patented, but the standard line height technique of a V formation attack. Watch out for those mortars. Hoping we can just overwhelm them here with our, well, I should have looked at the numbers. Do we have the same amount or slightly less? We've got plug bear net, so once we've exhausted all of our attack, then we can go in for that. Where are those mortars? They're okay, they're in. They're up here. Bloody eight mortars. Better run forward and get this, this good ground here. The V to channel them in toward me. Move forward, move forward, move forward. And also we want to be running right now to try and avoid some of those mortar strikes so they go over the back of us. Which they all have, I think they've just clipped two of my guys though. But that's a, that's a reasonable result. I will take that. But yeah, I know it's going to tire them out, but kind of got to right now. They've left a unit behind here defending up on the wall armed populace. That's fine. I'll try and get my... Elephants around with my general. I'll have to be careful. I've got dervishes. Again, need to be careful of them. just want to get within range so that I can start shooting up their, uh, their mortars. I think we need to move a little bit further forward. That's that's fine actually, because it means I can get their mortars in my firing range. I'm gonna really balls out, go forward here. <laughs> really balls out, but we'll be able to hit their mortars. Forward with my elephants to flank. Just keeping an eye that I'm not pushing up too far. I might be just with these guys. But we're going to be ruddy close, so we should be able to do a lot of damage. But I'm going to flank him with them elephants. Dem elephants, bruh. Won't worry about that one on the wall for now. That's that's actually fine. Quite happy they've done that. Unpopular is going to go straight in here. That's also fine. I'm just going to flank them with my elephants. they got a good charge in. But my elephants will too. My infantry should be able to hold. They're going to be flanked in the rear, so it should break them apart quite nicely. It's going in, come on. Bring them down, elephantes. Oh, that's a good charge. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to like this. Come on, elephants. Oh, they've broken straight away. Uh, elephants. Oh, they've, they've, they've actually shattered as well. They've actually shattered. Noise. Nice, 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 nice. Push, men. Push. Shoot her. Trying to get my elephants to get a few more kills on these guys. I, know I don't have to worry about them fleeing because they're all the... Uh, the garrison, but it gives us a bit more experience. Veterancy for my units, but I'm going to need these guys, these elephants, to do the same thing we've just done on all the other units as well. Keep pushing up with the V. It's all about that V. I'm surprised the... Where are the dervishes? I'm surprised they haven't come on in. I was about to pull my men back, but they've actually... Yeah, I was redeployed again. I'm going to be able to get in here and do a lot of damage. How many of them have got away? 320. Uh, that's fine. I just need these guys to all break. And again, with kind of minimal losses for my men, so that I can either send a few of these guys back to defend that settlement that I've just taken, or um, to hold in strength and then recapture next turn. But this one is worth a lot more. It's earning them 2,000 a turn, so... We will keep on that. Elephants, keep flanking. Don't go in yet. Keep pulling my guys around. This could get me into trouble here with that unit. Don't know just yet. Oh, we've broken a mortar team. Yes, thank you. Okay. Keep readjusting, closing on the flank. Just envelop them eventually. Uh, now we've broken those guys there, we're going to push forward with these two units from 
groups, the uh, separate groups there. So we, okay, now, so the dervishes have come in here, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to actually get these guys to toggle their bayonets right now so that they've got more damage. Elephants, get out of the firing range of these guys, would you? Elephants like react really weirdly. I think it's because you Darth Maul just increased the unit size of these guys and they're like, no, we don't like it. Don't know what the, don't know what that voice was. Keep enveloping, keep enveloping. Keep on holding men so my elephants can get a nice big charge in here and break your faces. Come on. I know you guys are probably tired. But these guys are wavering, so just, just go for it now, come on. I'm going to toggle bayonets with these guys. Plug bayonets. Oh, they are trying to charge my elephants in the rear. My elephants are going for a charge anyway. Which should slaughter these guys and wreck their morale. Yes, there we go. G freaking G. They've got bar gear infantry here. So let me pull these guys round. Pull these guys round because they've got their they've got their plugs in. Charge turn my elephants around, hit them. Those guys have shattered. We'll go off that armed populace in a minute. I'll get infantry down over here. In my men come to charge. Swing these guys round and round. I'm surprised this levy's doing so well, actually. Don't you hurt my elephants. Dicks. Get behind him. My plugged bayonet men. Why are these guys not taking a single bit of damage yet? <clears throat> wow, I'm blind. I'm blind. Wow, some of you are going to be like, Lionheart, with how what do you mean? This is my own unit. I have... I swear I had an eye test recently. That was fun. Ugh, it's been a long day. <laughs> let's, blame, let's blame that. Excuses. Wow, I was like, let's take out this unit. Why aren't they losing any men? Oh my god, just tried to take out my own unit. Fail. It's all good. It's all good, right. Just just charge. Oh my god. Yeah, well done, Lionheart. Everyone on the internet just saw your fail. <laughs> it's fine. That's what you're here for, right? On my channel. The fails be a plenty. At least it's not a battle fail. It's just, uh, I thought that was one of the enemy units there. But at least, at least these guys have lost no men so far. I think we've got very... Very little losses today, which is good. Hoping we don't have too much friendly fire either. That'd be nice. I think I'm, I'm knocking my own men over with that elephant charge. I don't know if I'm killing them or whether they'll get back up again. I think I've killed a lot of my own men with my elephants. I have. That's that's not so good. The charge, I forgot. It's like the cavalry charge. I end the battle before I kill any more of my men with elephant charge. I totally forgot that. But the uh, the charges with your cavalry, if you charge through units, same with cavalry, then it counts as friendly fire. Which it should do, because obviously if you charge through a group of your own men, you know, why should they be immune to elephant crushing? But at the same time, that sucks. Uh, yes, <laughs> Ooh, a fair bit of friendly fire there. Yikes. But I'm glad we only lost 500. Because we just claimed ourselves another region. Now, can any of these guys get back? No. Replenish. Uh, only a few of them can. Can my can my general get back? No. We can recruit some new units here. Desert warriors. Mm, okay. Right. My spy. Uh, what they got over here? I assume this one's worth a fair bit of money. Yes, it is. Look at it. Oh, but that that garrison though. Well, I guess I've got to build up a force and go for it. I'm hoping that what we've taken so far, though, is now quite a reasonable hit to their economy, so like they can't build up too much more. Uh, I'm going to end up the episode here, but guys, do let me know what you think I should do with this army. Where do I do I pull it back? Do I take it towards Satara and build up? Because there's no way I can hit Hyderabad right now. I need to build up and I need to get some cannon, probably. 
Um, need to get rid of these guys that are in my lands. I need to check, keep an eye on that army there. It's mainly, yeah, I'm gonna have to hold here though, probably. I could set, I could send, like I could send these uh, 1,500 men to take out these guys here and try and push it back and then move them up there. Or I'm gonna have to pull a few units here. Annoyingly, just they just have so many units to start with, which is actually um, doing a fair bit of just the fact that they can organise all these men uh, and all these little units. They can constantly harass me. So I mean, I know I shouldn't worry too much about all those because they'll all disappear once I take out their final settlement. But they still have quite a few settlements left. Um, don't need to worry about that one too much. Don't need to worry about that one up there. But um, Punjab. Um, Hindustan, Bera, Malwa, Hyderabad. I need to wipe all these out here. Hyderabad is going to be a tough one, mainly because where they've got all their armies focused on right now. Uh, Hindustan will be another one, uh, mainly mainly because of its garrison. But if I can get a couple of armies up here, then I can take that out quite nicely. But uh, all challenges for next time as we continue going on so feel free to leave suggestions down in the comment section don't forget to leave a like over a thousand likes on this part uh, part two three and four only a thousand likes to get part five to an hour special but you're doing really well so far great to see so uh, so many of you enjoying this series uh, don't forget to leave um sensible comments uh, about the names of units you'd like me to use and to add in at part five but until then uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the lead and check out my affiliates and sponsors XMG, Green Man Gaming, and GT Omega Racing. Till next time, ciao for now.